Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 149 of Snack Minute. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about updates to the CCNA certification with our friend Mubasher. Uh, my name is Mubasher Nawaz, and I manage Cisco certification portfolio. Uh, my team is responsible for the certification roadmaps. We manage the life cycle of all Cisco certifications from associate to expert level including revisions, new exam launches, and end-of-life for exams. Uh, today's Snack Minute is focused on CCNA version 1.1 update, uh, which we announced in uh, April 2024. The first day to test the new exam is 20th August 2024, almost a month from now. Uh, if you are already preparing for the current version of CCNA exam, the last day to test would be 19th August 2024 through our partners in person view. Well, Bashar, I know, I know we've been doing a lot of work with, um, with the certification updating the CCNA to 1.1 1, 1 and the blueprint. Uh, you and I have been working together to get a lot of content out there for uh, our learners. But can you um, talk to us a little bit about why is Cisco updating the CCNA certification exam and training? So products and technologies are advancing at an unprecedented rate. To keep our certification programs up to date and in line with current industry standards, uh, we are committed to conducting an annual review. Uh, these reviews can result in minor updates to ensure that the exam topics are clearly defined, uh, introduce new relevant topics, and phase out outdated products and solutions. Uh, the goal is to make necessary adjustments to keep pace with the technological advancements while minimizing disruptions to candidates study plans. I highly recommend you to visit our CERT roadmaps page to update yourself with the latest information and uh, lifecycle updates for Cisco certification. The training has been updated and with new introductions throughout and include some additional content and graphics to improve the learner experience. New topics covering AI, ML, and cloud network management will also be available to our learners in the new training material that's going to be available soon. So that's that's super exciting that you guys are are putting uh, AI and ML into the into the material and um, specifically around the cloud network management piece. Um, so CCNA has always kind of been an entry level certification. I presume that's the case, but are there any prerequisites or background knowledge you might recommend for candidates um, looking at this new update and and pursuing it uh, for their certification goals? So Matt, CCNA has no former prerequisites and is open to IT professionals of all experience levels. However, learners often benefit from one or more years of experience implementing and administering Cisco solutions and technologies. Candidates uh, typically include individuals looking to move into IT field, IT professionals looking to stand out in the job market, IT professionals looking to enrich their current roles with additional networking skills. Mubashar, can you touch a little bit on some of the updates that we've done. I know there's a lot of uh, material out there on the certification page uh, that we released to, to let our learners know about the updates we've, we've done, but it, it would be best to maybe hear it from the person that's actually in charge with of all of that. So uh, just give us kind of an update on what's in the CCNA 1.1. So to start with, Kareem, I want to be very clear that these changes are very minor, accounting for less than 10% of the exam. Uh, they include new topics like cloud, generative AI, and automation using Terraform. So if you are already preparing for your CCNA, you do not need to change your course of action and continue with your current plan. The new topics are very minor and, and will only encompass a few items in your exam, depending on the form you receive. There was an earlier snack minute uh, that also highlighted the importance of Terraform and automation and to understand the pros and cons of different tools that are available. Uh, generative AI is going to be more relevant for CCNA of the future to help them do their jobs better and faster. The ability to distinguish between predictive and generative AI and how it affects IT operations of the future so understanding these topics and getting a feel for them at the associate level is critical for the future network engineers. As these technologies become integral components of modern networks, the need for proficient IT professionals in these areas grow more pressing than ever. And Cisco has taken a, 
a proactive step to ensure that its flagship certification, CCNA, remains relevant and reflects these industry trends? <laughs> um, I probably know the answer to this already, but it would be great to hear it from you. What can we guide our uh, snackers here to, um, to materials and content that will help them prepare and update for this new, this new update for, to the exam? Yeah, so Matt, the best way to prepare for the updated topics is to visit the Cisco U and look at the CCNA study yeah. tutorials made yeah. by the technical advocates, Kareem and the team. So they are a great resource to start with, providing the knowledge needed to cover these new topics. Moreover, the updated training and courses will soon be available in Cisco U, providing more detailed knowledge on AI, ML, and uh, Terraform before the actual exam is going to be available for testing on 20th August. So stay tuned, visit Cisco U, and it's going to be a great resource for you to plan for your exam. Mugashar, so I'm watching this episode, and um, a lot of information is being shared here. What is What are some takeaways that I, you know, I walk away with? Uh, after I, you know, I see the, the Snack Minute logo at the end. So the updated exam topics are already available on the roadmaps page for anyone appearing on the exam on or after 20th August. I highly recommend everyone to look at the topics, especially to look at the release notes for version 1.1. They highlight the key difference between version 1.0 and version 1.1. It clearly mentions which topics to focus on in each domain and highlights the percentage included in the exam in front of it. This means if you look at the exam topics, 75% of your exam is coming from the first four domains. So while preparing for your exam, your starting point should always be the exam topics and then preparing from there onwards using the resources available in Cisco U. Moreover, stay tuned for the upcoming webinar coming on July 30th, uh, which will be covering the CCNA with Patrick Gargano. It will be very useful with all the updated information on the training and other materials. I think we're getting, I think Patrick Gargano is coming on Snack Minute to talk to us a little bit about the deep diving into that training and uh, maybe get a first view into it. That's super exciting. Um, Mubashir, this is great. I mean, quick, succinct to the point. Um, you know, it's really exciting to see uh, that uh, learning and certifications is really uh, starting to push the narrative around AI and and uh, machine learning and and cloud networking as well. So. Uh, you are a first-time guest, and so before we let you go, uh, we ask this of all of our first-time guests. Um, which superpower would you choose to have and why? Oh, that's a good one, Matt. So, I don't know. There's a lot of them. You probably want all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, time travel would be a really nice one to have. So you can go back in time and you can uh, do things or you can go move forward in time. So time travel, I think, is a, is a really awesome one. If I hope we achieve it one day. I'm not sure I want to see the future. Like that's that seems like it ruins kind of things. If you go in, in the future, find out what's going on. But I know Matt will probably go find out the lotto of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would never have to do a snack minute again. <laughs> that's right. Mubashir, thank you so much for, uh, for your time today. Uh, snackers, go check out the new information on CCNA V1.1. And we'll see you next time on Snack Minute. Thanks, Mubashar. Thank you, Snackers.